Is Mexico all drug cartels and fancy beach resorts? We don't think so. Come with us as we travel by RV with 12 other couples on an epic three-month adventure to explore the culture, history, and food of our neighbor to the south. Well, this week we head to Oaxaca, a town known for its food, culture, and mezcal. But unfortunately on the way there on the first day, we suffered some major wind damage to some of our RVs. But at once in Oaxaca, we had a great time at the carnival, learning to cook, local textiles, Monte Alban, and we'll give you a review of our favorite campground. Number two, I think you have a bunch of little babies following behind you. It's like a mother duck and its chicks. The two other super major issues is we actually stopped on the side of the road because someone lost their solar panel, so their solar panel uh, panel blew, uh, so uh, blew off the roof, so we stopped for that and we noticed other problems. Really major, major thing is our friend Stacy and James, actually their roof was starting to come up, so it's... Class A. Yeah, and they have a Class A, so it's really good we stopped because they would have lost their entire roof. They lost quite a bit of it already anyway. Uh, the rest of it is all strapped down with duct tape and Gorilla Tape. Uh, so we are going on our way again. I don't know how much longer we have in this wind, but it is brutal and it is really wreaking havoc with our caravan today. Unfortunately, nobody's gotten injured. They had to be rough. And none of the rigs are dead in the water, so we'll count our blessings that way. What was that, 13? This is definitely a, this is definitely a long day. With We started off with uh, one, one sick a couple that's sick in one vehicle, so they're extra slow, which is not hey, a problem. Well, the wind should be at our backs. For some reason, it's affecting everybody, and it might be because of all the rough roads loosening up a lot of stuff, and now the wind is finding all that loose stuff and ripping it. So we've got a, uh, a roof, a solar panel, and our kayaks, and a mirror. So the good news is the Green Angels, being the smart guys that they are, are helping us out by taking us on a route so that we have the wind head on or at our tail versus side wind, which will help a lot of the wind issues. So that's all good. Okay, what have we got going on this morning? Uh, we're in a field. Uh, we're in kind of a soccer field. Matter of fact, the kids were out here playing last night, which was really cool to watch. And then uh, we've got a couple policemen here and they provided us some security last night. So it was kind of cool. Felt very secure here. Uh, this was just a, an overnighter. Um, not sure the name of this town because it was two long days of driving because we're going to Oaxaca today. It should be another long driving day. And uh, so we had to find a place, uh, Bernardo found a place sort of midway because otherwise it would have been a, like a 10 to 12 hour drive. And that's just impossible with a caravan. We had a lot of stuff happen yesterday with the winds. Uh, as a matter of fact, Ralph is still repairing his RV. Uh, hopefully today, fingers crossed, it's a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> roadside stand. We're high up in this mountainous area and they make artisanal mezcal. So we've just tried all kinds of mezcal and it's pretty good. Los años en esto. <laughs> Howdy guys, uh, this one seems to be the reposado because it means it's still in the barrel for a couple years. Maybe uh, they say like around three or four years. This one, this one maybe a little longer. 
maybe about six to eight years mm -hmm. in the barrels. And they have also like the Gran Reserva, which is at least they say, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure like what they're saying, but it's about 30 years in a barrel oh, or, in the, or at least in the glass. So that's kind of expensive price, but uh, you can tell for the color, that's true that there will be that long in those barrels. And this one, maybe it's for about, like they say, six to eight years in, in those. And back on the road again. Huh? Fun, huh? Yes. You know, I don't know if, how they compare because I'm, we don't taste that kind of stuff that very often, but when you have the opportunity to do something, don't put it off because you never know. It might be the only time you have your only yeah, chance. After all, a long, another long driving day. <laughs> Seems like stuff happens at the end of the day. But after uh, probably the most beautiful drive uh, of our entire trip, one that wasn't in fog, sorry, I'm getting wrapped around with dogs. <laughs> um, yeah, really long but beautiful drive. And we got here, we had an incident coming into the RV park uh, with the fifth wheel that's in our group. But this is a beautiful, beautiful RV park. So today we're going to go to a rug place. I guess it's a specialty item in one of the towns and we're gonna go for a mezcal tasting and learn how mezcal is made. Well we're at Casa Cruz outside of Oaxaca and there's uh, certain families in this area that are known for their textiles and their rug making and they're absolutely phenomenal. So they they use plants and flowers and uh, parasites on cactus to form the colors and they do everything by hand. Thank you visit to my house my name is Maria Luisa, the family is a Cruz family. In this moment, I explain a little bit. something perfect for our RV. Now in this area there are 17 different um, different indigenous groups uh, and 16 different languages. But this is what we just got. Now you can buy these rugs a little cheaper in town however they're not going to have the, uh, the handmade dye that you're going to find in a place like this. Tequila is in the north, a little bit in the north of the country. It's, uh, we say that mezcal is the father of tequila. In Oaxaca, we have, um, we are number one in production of mezcal, uh, number one for uh, importation, exportation, sorry, export uh, mezcal in the world. Smell of this one, yeah. Okay, give it a try. No warm in it. See, I like this one better because this is more to me that smokiness oh. and stuff. Is that better? The, it's smooth, okay. isn't it? It's only what are we eating? Six pizza. What? This is a pizza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, good morning everyone. There's a lot to do in Oaxaca and one of the most important things is to come to Monte Alban. This is one of the uh, most significant archaeological sites in this area. Now, there's quite a few people here, so it's, uh, I don't know, maybe half an hour from uh, downtown Oaxaca and uh, we're going to go tour this right now. So it's one of a lot, one of many things you can do in this area. I know the burning question you have is why is this site so important? Well, it actually predates the Mayans. So this goes back to a thousand years BC and it was a Zapotec indigenous people that lived here. Uh, the buildings themselves aren't as tall as the Mayan ruins and the Mayan structures. And our guide had said that, uh, well, this is a major earthquake hotspot. And as a matter of fact, we had some earthquake. We had an earthquake the other day. So none of the buildings that the Zapotecs built here are very high because they knew that there was a lot of earthquakes. You're almost there. <laughs> Now, if you're gonna come, uh, it's about 85 pesos. So, just about four bucks to get in here. That's so inexpensive. Bueno! <laughs> right now we're in the uh, Mayordomo, which is like a chocolate place. So, highly recommend it. I just got a couple of chocolates. Well, this is like choco meal. Like chocolate uh, with milk. How do you call that one? Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. It's pretty tasty. See? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Right, Oaxaca is known for its food and we get treated to a cooking class today. And this is a really beautiful setting in here. his face I'm going to tell you a little bit about this place it's called the uh, Lucina mm -hmm. and uh, it's Enrique and his aunt Bonita that cooked for us this morning and gave us a really awesome demonstration some of it was hands-on and uh, you can tell he's happy yeah eating, this, eating more food. <laughs> nice, and, uh, fabulous. nice food yeah very very good food and I'll put their information in the description below you can reach them on Facebook Instagram and by email and totally worth it so they don't they do uh, breakfast 
like they did for us uh, this morning, uh, hands-on. They also do other cooking classes and other demonstrations. And uh, their their outside outdoor kitchen is amazing. Yeah, you should you should come. Out yeah, here. yeah, mm. you should come. In Oaxaca, I've barely explored it yet. There's a lot more to see here. Mm. Uh huh. Thumbs up. <laughs> Just a few minutes from our campground in El Tule, or just outside of Oaxaca, is the whitest tree in the world. I can't believe this is so close to where we're at. It's about 45 meters around circumference. It's over 2,000 years old. Hard to believe. and the best place to experience any place is to go to the local markets and if we hit the ground running got to try the food because Oaxaca is known for the food so we're going to explore the markets today go ahead a little bit of fun around town starting off with a pineapple ooh is that what is that one guava guava a guava drink and a pineapple drink and a foamy drink and a, and a foamy drink some of the best mole it comes in a paste uh, paste or powder, or we're getting some for ourselves and also as a gift. But you can just sample the mole. Oh my god, this place is known for the mole. Hey, good morning. We're leaving today, but I wanted to give you a review of the best campground we've stayed at so far. It's called El Rancho RV Park. It's about, uh, depending on traffic, anywhere from 20 to 60 minutes uh, away from Oaxaca, which is a great city to go exploring. Uh, this is by far the best RV park for so many reasons. Number one, electricity was good all the way was able to actually run our air conditioning uh, two there's a dump at most of the sites and I'm on all of them uh, there's also water at every site uh, there's Wi-Fi here and guess what the Wi-Fi is so good here that you can actually stream movies totally unheard of to have all of these things all at once so it is pretty awesome um, it's a little bit uh, packed in here but uh, very quiet and extremely secure okay there is a swimming pool and uh, but it gets pretty cold at night so the swimming pool is not heated so it's it's a kind of a, a cold swimming pool uh, the bathrooms are off the charts clean great showers probably the best showers anywhere so far uh, the best bathrooms anywhere so far uh, it's a popular spot because of all these amenities and because of the price uh the price is 300 pesos a night which is about 15 bucks for all of this uh you can stay here monthly for 320 dollars so definitely something we might consider in the future is coming back and spending more time here uh, oaxaca was absolutely wonderful and there's a lot of villages a lot of uh textiles and crafts and amazing food so it's definitely a place you can spend a lot more time at all right Catch you down the road.